what I was found very profound when I um, came first time to the training was that I was introduced to a choice that I had. A choice in how I want to use my mind, basically. A choice how I want to use all my thoughts, emotions and sensations, everything that I experienced. I never knew that I had a choice. I always thought I, I would, I'm a victim of all the things that would go on in my life and I'm just up and down and back and forth. And, and now I came to this training and I, I was introduced there. It's really a choice. I have a choice in how I want to use my mind. I can either go with all my data, like all my thoughts and all my emotion experience, or I can take a short moment and recognize that open intelligence is always present within every data stream, within all of my thoughts, emotions and sensations. So it's really up to me to take that choice. So it's up to everyone. And that's really empowering. In the beginning I thought, oh, could not somebody else do that for me? And I just, oh, like that. But no, we have really the power to, to do that and we can really take that step and we can test it out. So that's what I, that, that's what I would do if I would, was new now and that's what I did when I came new, is to take a day and test it out, to take a short moment whenever I remember to do so. And that means to relax body and mind completely whenever we naturally remember to do so, during the whole day. And you can test one day today and see how that goes. We stop for one second that, that storyline that goes off. You probably all know when we, for example, when an emotion comes up, say anger or sadness comes up, and then we have that whole storyline that goes of why we are sad or why we are angry, this person did this and that, or whatever it, it might be, our, our storyline. And we see how we can sp spindle out there. And we just stop for one second. For, just for a split second, we stop that storyline and recognize that there's something stable within us that is unaffected, no matter if there's anger coming up or there's sadness coming up. And we might recognize it just for a split second and then the storyline goes off again. And that's completely fine. Then we stop again whenever we naturally remember to do so. And that we do the whole day. Whenever we remember to do so, we just stop for a second. And then more and more we see these seconds, these split seconds, these split seconds of recognizing that profound reality within us, that stability, just will grow longer and longer, just automatically, without needing us to effort at all. Maybe it feels like an effort at the moment to stop that storyline. That was the case for me, because I was so familiar to go down all these data streams that I had, all the stories about myself. They felt also comfortable. So I, I you know, the spiral went right away, but th that's fine. We just stop again. And, and more and more I saw, the more I repeated that, less and less this, this, all the data stream could have hold over myself. I mean, the data still come up naturally, spontaneously, unpredictable. We have no idea what will come next. I mean, we come uh, suddenly lots of money data come up. I thought always I'm so relaxed with money. And then suddenly at one point, boom, lots of money data came up and th that's, that's completely fine. We never know what next data will come up. It can be anything, basically, anything. We could have the whole range of human experience coming up for us. We never know. It's unpredictable, but we have that choice in how we want to deal with, with that coming up for us. It's for each, each data stream the same. We can recognize its profound reality right there in each short moment. We can apply it to each data stream. No data stream is something special or something that needs more attention or is like this thing that we cannot rest at all with or take a short moment with. No, we can apply it to any data stream that comes up for us. And that's the power that we have completely. Relaxing deeply within our, our true nature, within that stability that is always present. And that's the greatest thing, it's always present. We don't need to try to, to um, make it more or try to find open intelligence. Or It's always present within us. It just had gone unnoticed. 
because we were so focused on the description of it all, all our stories around everything, basically. And now we recognize it more and more that, and bring that into the foreground of our experience. That stability, that power, that potency, the thing that we can always rely on to know in each <clears throat> time, place and circumstance how to be and how to relate that is of most benefit. And we can see that, I mean, when we go down all our storylines, then our, our mind will be just completely focused on that, and then we use our speech in that way, our body qualities and activities in that way, focusing on the storyline. <clears throat> but if we focus on open intelligence, then naturally discernment, insight, and the ability to know what to do and how to act just naturally unfolds within our whole being. And that's the power, that is so beautiful how that opens up for, for everyone. It, it's really something that, that is just so natural to us, that, it just, that we just get more and more familiar again with. And that's why it's also so powerful to come together and, and train up and get introduced to the Four Mainstays. And that's why it's also so powerful, the Four Mainstays are present here all at once. We can really feel them completely. That's why making use of all of the Four Mainstays is, is so powerful and empowering. I had a, a time where I just used certain mainstays, just listened to talks, and, and, and then when I started doing trainings again and being involved with a trainer and with the community, wow, I could just feel that complete empowerment and, and the ease and, and, and stability within myself. It was just so much more easy to notice for me in that way. So it's so powerful to allow ourselves a time to really get to know ourselves and train that up within ourselves completely. A time where we can see everything about ourselves, everything, all the commitments we take, all the things that might come up with, within that fear of not being able to um, uphold a commitment or not wanting to do it. Or, oh, I mean, this can be anything that might come up. And it's great that everything comes up. <coughs> I've seen that the more things that come up that disturb me or used to disturb me in a way, like really are intense, are such a fuel to really put into a, a task as well. That's the, everything that we feel is basically the power to, to on the fuel of benefit. This energy, and then basically it's energy that is coming up and, and, and we can just use it and direct it in a way that we want to. Completely, and, and that's so powerful. So each data stream is a perfect opportunity and perfect um, way to really empower ourselves. So it doesn't really matter what comes up for you. And, and that was so powerful to see for me. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how we label it. We can always apply our short moments and recognize its profound beneficial potency within each data stream each emotion, each thought. It, that's really the, the power that we have right there in every moment. And, and that's, that's what we do when we are really letting it be as it is. Letting it be as it is means just to allow a data stream, a thought, emotion, completely be as it is, not trying to push it down like like for me that was always a big thing when anger came up because I didn't want to allow myself to feel angry because I thought this is not what a human being should be feeling and so I pushed it always down not to feel it try to replace it with another better thought better emotion but now to allow it to be to feel it fully let it be as it is not needing to change it not needing to replace it not trying to not feel it we can just feel it fully and see what happens. I always was afraid that I would then act in a way that is not beneficial, but the totally opposite was the case. I could feel everything fully and use it to be of benefit. Use it in a way that would be skillful and beneficial for a um, situation, not being blindsided by it, because I could allow it to be as it is. Suddenly the fear of all my data just subsides just more and more ease within 
every, every feeling, every emotion, that makes life so easy and comfortable because we're not trying to run around anymore, trying to change everything that we are feeling or, or thinking. We can just let it be as it is, feeling everything fully, giving everything the permission field to be there, nothing left out, and see what happens. And you have the complete support structure here, complete support structure, structure that will always empower you and, <coughs> and um, show you how you can let things be as, as they are. That's why we're here.